Are you ready for a war? WWE Survival Series War Games is just around the corner, but I will tell you who's not ready. That is Bianca Belair and her team because they are still one person short. They have only four members going in to this week's War Games match at Survival Series. Obviously, they've got Bianca Belair. They've got Asuka, they've got Alexa Bliss, and they have the returning Maya Yim, who is now known as Meechin. They'll be taking on Damage Control, Nikki Cross, and Rhea Ripley. So it's four on five. They need one more. The partner is going to be announced this week on Friday Night Smackdown. But I'm here to do some investigation skills. I'm here to figure out who that mystery tag team partner could be. Now, I'm going to cover people from Raw. Smackdown and potential legends slash returnees. So first I'll go with people that are active on Raw. The reason I'm going to do this is because I believe the people on Raw pretty much have zero chance of being in this match. If they were going to pick someone for Raw, why wouldn't they have announced it on Raw? The only reason you wouldn't announce it on Raw if it's going to be like a huge deal on Smackdown. But again, like that's not the case. So if it was going to be a Raw person, a woman for Raw, it would have been announced on Raw. They wouldn't have waited to SmackDown. That's what I'm thinking. I'm also only going to look at the faces as well because it's a face team versus a heel team. There's no reason why they're just going to randomly put a heel in there to, uh, you know, to even up the numbers. They're going to they're going to look for a face. So let's go through the people on Raw and the people who it could be. So Candice LeRae is up first. When I originally seen this match be made, I thought she would be the first person that the team of Bianca Belair Asuka and Bliss recruit it, but apparently not. Now, Candice LeRae, if you remember, was like beat up a few weeks ago by Damage Control, so it would make sense for it to be Candice LeRae, but at the same time, if it was going to be Candice, why wouldn't they just do it at uh, Raw? Why would they wait to SmackDown? I mean, surely Candice LeRae isn't this big a deal that we put off this huge announcement and wait to SmackDown. So I'm going to say no, but it would have made sense for it to be Candice LeRae. Another person who it could be, but I doubt it, and that is Dewdrop. Now, we don't know if Dewdrop's a heel or a face. Last time we seen her, she was a heel, but the fact is we haven't seen her in a while. So at the moment, we don't know what, her is, what, what she is, but her partner, her former partner, Nikki Cross, has aligned herself with Bailey. So maybe we could see some sort of face turn here, and we could see Dewdrop team up with Bianca Belair. But personally, I don't see that happening. For me, it will not be Dewdrop. There's no one else really relevant on Raw mentioning. So you've got like Tamina, um, Dana Brooke, but it won't be any of those people. Again, the only person I thought realistically it would be would be Candice LeRae, but again, it didn't, again, didn't get announced on Raw, so there's no reason why it would be Candice LeRae. And if they wanted to play off the whole Nikki Cross thing, they could have had a Dewdrop be in there, but again, it would require them turning Dewdrop face, and I just don't see why they wouldn't announce it on Raw if it's going to be a Raw person. Let's move on to SmackDown. Now, I think there is some realistic options on SmackDown. First of all, you've got Lib Morgan. She had that run as the SmackDown champion. Obviously, she's no longer the champion. She's not got nothing to do against the Survivor Series. This would give her a match. Maybe they will give it to Lib Morgan. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Lib Morgan. I hope it's not, but again, I would not be surprised if Lib Morgan is the uh, the person in this tag team. You also have Raquel Rodriguez, who, again, has been winning lately. Now, she isn't in a Survivor Series match, but I've got a feeling that she might just accompany her tag team partner, Shotzi, to the ring. So, I mean, it could be Raquel Rodriguez, but I don't think it will be. I think she will just be back up for Shotzi Blackheart in the SmackDown Women's Championship match, because I'm sure that Shayna Baszler will accompany Ronda Rousey. So, yeah, I mean, Raquel will probably accompany Shotzi. So, that kind of rules out Raquel Rodriguez. Yeah, you've got Shia Lee, who, I mean, honestly, she's had more heel face time turns in the big show at this stage, it is kind of pathetic, literally, if they need her to be a heel, she's a heel, if they need her to be a face, she's a face, if they're short of a face in a tag match, she's a face, if they're short of a heel in a battle royal match, she's a heel, it's kind of embarrassing, so, I mean, I would not be surprised to see Shia Lee turn up as a heel, I mean, turn up as a face on SmackDown, do another heel's face switch, but she will not be the tag team partner, there's no stock in Shia Lee, no one gives a fuck about Shia Lee, she will not be in this match, in terms of other women that could potentially be in it, I mean, from SmackDown, Sonya Deville, but she's a heel, 
Uh, Emma just returned. She won't be in it because she sucks. So does Lacey Evans. So I can't see it being any of them. In my opinion, if it's going to be someone for SmackDown, considering Raquel Rodriguez is busy with her tag team partner Shotzi in the SmackDown Women's Championship match, I would go with Liv Morgan. But now let's look at people that could be returning. Returns that could happen at Survivor Series, or should I say happen at SmackDown. Now the reason why I think it could be a return, and why I think they would maybe delay a return till SmackDown is the simple fact that SmackDown has been treated as the A show. Ever since they went to Fox, SmackDown is bigger than Raw. They treat it, it's more important than Raw. The fact that the bloodline and Roman Reigns have been dominant and Roman Reigns is like the biggest thing they have going and he really only appears on SmackDown. He'll make the odd appearance on Raw. But let's be real, if Raw was the A show, Roman Reigns would either be appearing on Raw as much as he has SmackDown or they would simply move Roman Reigns to Raw, especially when he won the Raw title and had both titles. But no, he's, he's not on Raw that much because they don't value Raw as much as they value SmackDown. It's to say, I mean, look at the commentary team. SmackDown, all those, for like two years, had what, Cole and McAfee? Look at who Raw had. A bunch of shit. So, of course, SmackDown is the number one show. That's why I think if anyone's returning, I think they'll have them return on SmackDown rather than Raw. Despite whether they belong to the Raw brand or not. So, first up, I'm going to say Becky Lynch. Why did I say Becky Lynch? Because she was injured by damage control. If you remember, storyline wise, damage control came out and attacked Becky. They put her on the shelf. Becky did come off a feud with Bianca Belair, but they shaked hands at SummerSlam. It looks like they had some mutual respect. It looks like Becky and Bianca, the last time we seen them, were getting along. So, it would make perfect sense, I think. For uh, Becky Lynch to come back, help out Bianca Belair, team up with Bianca Belair in this War Games match to take on the team of Damage Control that helped injure her and put her on the shelf. So I think Becky Lynch is a good shout. It just depends whether or not the injury is healed up in time. And last but not least, someone that could return. A, a bit of a long shot here, maybe more hopeful than expecting this, but the boss, Sasha Banks, I hope Sasha Banks returns fucking naked, that probably won't happen, but I hope she does, I hope she returns anyway, and uh, maybe Sasha Banks could be the fifth women in this War Games match, it is unlikely, and I'm just kind of throwing it out there, out of more um, hope than expectation, if I had to say what two I truly believe it will be, for me it's a toss up, it's either, if Becky Lynch is ready to go, if Becky Lynch is healed up, I'm going to go with Becky Lynch 100%, but if she's not ready to come back, if she's still injured then for me, it's going to be Liv Morgan, so that's who the mystery partner's going to be, it's either going to be Liv Morgan, or it's either going to be Becky Lynch, I mean like I said, I would love it, I would love a, a naked Sasha Banks to appear, just like naked Midi, and it's like Pokemon, she just appears randomly, but only she's naked, but that's not going to happen, it's not, it's really not, so don't get your hopes up guys, don't be disappointed Friday night tomorrow when she doesn't appear, because uh, yeah, that's just not going to happen, but I think it will be either Becky or Liv Morgan, let me know what you guys think down below, let me know in the comments who you think the mystery partner will be, and uh, yeah, we'll find it tomorrow night on Smackdown, that's it guys, before wrestling, we'll catch you in the next one, but until then, peace.